Welcome back to the Coca-Cola Light NASCAR Cup Series. This is Season 3, Race Number 3. We are at New Jersey Millville for the final race on the New Jersey Doubleheader. But before we get started, let's take a look at our ones to watch, as we have quite a lot of them, so let's get them done before we get into the race. William Byron, he's the pole sitter, coming out for him on his number 24 Chevrolet. Chase Elliott, he's our last road course winner, and he's a road course king, coming out for him as number 9 Chevrolet. Michael McDowell, he's starting in fourth, and he's looking for another top 10, coming out for him as number 34 Mustang. Alex Bowman, he has still not forgotten what happened last road course race. He's still looking for redemption, coming out for him as number 88 Chevrolet. Paul Custer, he's looking for redemption after last race, coming out for him as number 41 Mustang. Behind him is his teammate Kevin Harvick. He was the oval winner last race. Coming out for him as number four Mustang. And Marchex Jr. He is looking to win at his home track. As a matter of fact, this is the track he grew up racing on as a kid. Coming out for him as number 19 Toyota Cameron. Right now for your starting lineup. In row one is William Barton, Denny Hamlin. Row two is Matt Kenseth, Michael McDowell. Row three is Brad Kozlowski and Go Go Legano, Joe Legano. Row four is Ryan Blaney and Shea Elliott. Row 5, it's Alex Bona Showman and Eric Almarola. Row 6, it's Clint Boyer and Chris Busher. Row 7, it's Bubba Wallace and Matthew Bedadetta. Row 8, it's Ryan and the Rocket Man and Brewers, Martrix Jr. In row 9, it's Cole Custer Cream, Cole Custer, and Kurt Busch. In row 10, it's Happy, Happy, Happy Harvick, Kevin Harvick, and Jimmy Johnson. In row 11, it's Eric Jones and Kyle Busch. And rounding up the field in row 12, it's Austin Dillon. And down our junior. Right, the cars will roll off. Here's your race info. Seven laps. Stage one will end on lap three. 24 cars. That is the last race of the New Jersey doubleheader. Green flags wave it. We're underway in Millville. <laughs> Top three running single file now. We're in barn leading. Oh, there's some contact between Ryan and Mark McDowell. That's like you just make contact with guys that we've William Byron still leading now. Battle for the top 10. Oh, the sword house teammate spit! Oh my goodness! Matthew Benedetto and Ryan Newman are in it! Let's look at that replay. Uh, Clint Boyer thought he was cleared to block Eric Amarola, but no, he wasn't. Eric Amarola tries to avoid him, but Bubba Wallace was on his left rear corner panel, so he spins as well. Bubba Wallace and Chris Boyer avoid the wreck. Newman tries to go to the outside to avoid it, but Matthew Vendetta was there. They both end up in, in the rack. Cool Custer only just spun out, so no damage. He's just going to get a fresh pair of good years. And he's good to go. And that's going to say that William Byron is the winner of stage one. Five points for him, three points for Denny Hillen, and one point for Matt Kansas. Going to restart left forward of seven. Green flags waving once again. William Byron's going to lead him down now. Well, here comes Matt Kenseth trying to battle for the lead with William Byron. But William Byron gets the better exit off of turn 5. Oh, a little bump and run in the back. William Byron is still leading him down. Now to right 5. Oh, Joey Spence! Oh my goodness! Hard hit for him! Kevin Harvey, Gary Charles, and Austin Dillon are in it. I believe Kurt got tagged. Let's look at the bump and run action. Chase still used a bump and run on Joe Legano. So I guess that made Joey Legano very upset. So right here, Joey tries to give him payback, but what he doesn't realize is that Alex Bowman right behind him. So, so Joey spins to the pit road wall on the driver's side. Chase Elliott saved his car, then Joey got hit by Chris Buescher, then Kevin Harvick. Eric Jones ran into Kevin, then Austin ran into the 20. Kurt Busch got tagged by Joey, but Kurt Busch saved it. Now we head into pit road. There's Montre Stringer in his pit box. Jimmy Johnson, there's the Hendrick boys. And it seems that we got some drivers out. It's Truex, Johnson, and Bush. They went for two ties, and they're going to lead them down from pit road. We're going to go to overtime, lap seven out of eight. Green flags waving. Two laps to go in the New Jersey doubleheader. Matt Kenza will lead them down. Oh, Cook did not get going. He's going to stay out of traffic. Here goes Danny Hamlin, and we want to catch it. Oh, they both spin! Now it's Michael McDowell to the lead! Oh, Brad just Brad Michael McDowell! Now Brad Keselowski is leading the 
this race now. There you go. Final lap. One lap to go. Greg is not speed. Oh, he goes Martin Truex Jr. to the inside. Because that's trying to blocks. He spins. Jimmy Johnson, where did he come from? He's now leading the race now. The Truex vs. Johnson show once again. Here comes Truex to the inside. Johnson fighting back. You know how badly Truex wants to win at this track. Here they come side by side to the line. They both spin. Alex Bowman slips by and win it at Millville. Oh my gosh. Let's look at the replay of the last two laps. Go Custer did not get going, but he stays out of traffic. Everybody else avoided the slow Custer. Matt Kenseth was leading the field, attempting to get his second win of the season. But here comes Denny Hamlin. He sends it in deep. But I guess too much. They both spun out. And here comes Michael McDowell to the lead. But now Brad says like, nope. I'm leading this field now. So Brad Brad's Michael McDowell. And now he's leading the field. And the reason why the caution did not come out was because all those drivers that spun out were not on the racing surface. They were on the grass. That's why we stayed green. My gosh, there was like... Literally two spins on the first lap of overtime. And now right here, Rex Leslie takes the white flag, attempting to get his first win. But on right here, turn one, Truex sends it in deep to the bottom. Brad thought he was cleared to block him, but nope. He spins out, Truex kept his car straight, and out of the blue comes Jimmy Johnson. Now it was the Jimmy Johnson versus Martin Truex Jr. show once again. Now Truex, you know how badly he wants to beat Johnson at this point. Even at his home track. So Truex showed no mercy as much as he can. And right here, Truex bumped and run him, but I don't think it was enough to get him on that turn. Truex still has the inside of Johnson. And Truex only had the lead for just a split second. Truex got back the lead. And coming up to the final stretch, Truex had no other option but to spin him out. So he attempted to do that. But they both slid to the line. Alex Bowman slipped by to take the nod. And Alex Bowman, he's the lucky dog of the day. He's going to burn it down and celebrate his first career win at Millville. Right, here's your full finishing results. Alex Bowman in first, Jimmy Johnson in second, Martin Trex Jr. in third, Kyle Bush in fourth, William Byron in fifth, Chase Elliott in sixth, Bubba Wallace in seventh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in eighth, Brad Keselowski in ninth, Cole Custer rounds up the top ten for today. In eleventh, it's Chris Buescher, Ryan Blaney in twelfth, Denny Hamlin in thirteenth, Kurt Busch in fourteenth, Matt Kenseth in 15th, Michael McDowell in 16th, Joel Gallon in 17th, Kevin Harvey in 18th, Eric Jones in 19th, and Austin Dillon rounds up the top 20. In 21st, it's Matthew Benedetto. In 22nd, it's Clint Foyer. Eric Amarola takes 23rd, and Ryan Newman takes 24th. Alright, now for your point standings. It's still Matt Kenseth taking the first seeding of the playoffs, Kevin Harvick in the second seeding, and Alex Bowman, who had a big shot of not making it to the playoffs, to lock into the playoffs. Jimmy Johnson with 61 points, Dale Earnhardt Jr. with 53, Cole Custer with 53 as well, Chase Sun with 50, William Byron with 47, Byron Blaine with 47, Bubba Wallace with 43, Eric Amarola with 43 points, Mark Chase Jr. with 20 points, Joe Degana with 42 points, Danny Hamlin with 36 points, Ryan Newell with 35 points, Brad Kozlowski with 31 points, Kyle Busch goes from 21st to 17th today with 30 points, Matthew Benedetto with 29, Austin Dillon Chris Buescher with 25. And here's your last three drivers, Kurt Busch with 20 points, Eric Jones with 17 points, and Tim Corey with 12. Congratulations to G2 Fishing. And we want to thank you guys for watching today's race. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you later, goodbye, and tune to you next time for Charlotte.